No, it's I, it's not that bad. It's just other. Music, video, watch, you're here, whatever. For, this real is quick, real quick to for those jokes, the from autumn to ashes jokes. This is from ashes to new, not from autumn to ashes, but this band name could not exist if from autumn to ashes was still around. Let's be no, honest. Yeah, no. It could not exist. This is from ashes to new. I have not heard them. Ever? Yet. Not yet, no. Oh, they sound like Lincoln Park. Clearly. I feel like I would get jumped listening to this in a parking lot. This song's called Heartache, by the way. Here we go. Here we go. Full band. Is that, that Toby Shattuck? Off a road? That dude's got no eyeballs. They went to different schools. <laughs> they made it to Y. Swimming. Really brings people together. So there's there's nothing wrong with with their music. You're pulling it off. The singing's actually like really really good for this style and everything. But you're never going to avoid the Lincoln Park comparisons. Like it, it also brings me back to Danger Kids. They had the same issues. They they rap and they were singing and they did hard rock and threw some breakdowns in. I mean, you're obviously Lincoln Park influenced. This is different enough. Like, you do expect a Lincoln Park cover at some point. Like, I'm ready for Hybrid Theory, guys, whenever you want. But at the same time, you know, it's different enough to where... Yeah, I, I mean, still don't this see track his eyes. Is, I don't either. He's always been about like some sort of face paint because on warp tour he he always read lines and different shit yeah and so what is his role primarily is he just for courses does he scream a lot what does he do the songs are split up it's different like okay so like a true more, yeah he's not just standing cream. around doing nothing like he's got parts is he like a folk oh a cello player wow is that live know. is that i don't is that i don't know about that Okay. I mean, odd that they would include her there if it wasn't. I ha I did not know there was a fucking cello player in that band. That might be like a standing oboe or something too. It may not be a cello. Cello, I think, might be bigger. Everyone looks somewhat emo, except for the MC. That's why I say they went to different schools. Oh yeah, she's a part of the band for sure. Oh, she broke her, she broke, threaded her, uh, her thing. I think this music is, is really, uh, susceptible to ending up on, like, a soundtrack, whether it be, like, a movie or TV show or a video game. Oh, yeah, it, for sure. It's kind of like, and even wrestling themes, like, yep. I, I wonder if they're gonna fall into that world. Because, oh, there, look, quick advertisement for you guys at the end of your video. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to fall into that wrestling world because they kind of fit all the criteria. Like, the songs, you could, you could jump into them at any 15 or 30 second mark, and it's like, to the point, there's a verse, it's some action, you can throw mm -hmm. something behind it, it's good for a montage. And, mm -hmm. and in that sense, I've seen them win over a lot of fans of different genres because they, they do that crossover. Uh, I just think at Warp Tour... It was interesting to see if they were going to cross over with like scene kids and stuff because there are a lot of older people who did dig rap rock. I'd say like our age and even older. That shit was like a little more popular. Real quick, uh, real quick follow up question that we can just play along on this specific episode while your cat's meowing in the background. Uh, what is the best unique instrument additive to a band? Examples being the cello, right? I believe there's also a cello and alkaline trio, violins in yellow card and Dixie Chicks. Ghost. 
okay, we're Dixie Chicks. He is Ghost is what I was thinking of, right? The Or, yeah, yeah, he is Ghost. I am. I am Ghost. There you go. Uh, and they're, they're violin players. So what's the weirdest additive? Obviously, ska bands have some some brass. What would you say? At is one weirdest? point, it was weird that there were keyboard players in metal, like under no. oath. No, at one point, it was like, early. that's kind of, yeah, I'm not Real saying, like, early. Yeah. But that's like a staple now. Yeah. Especially okay, but I, I wouldn't consider like keyboards a weird additive. No, I don't know. Synth. Mm, I don't know, man. The Dixie trash cans? The trash can? Whatever Blue Man Group plays on. Trash cans. 